back out to Jacqueline for one last check of your forecast. Jackie, you were teasing to some rain chances heading our way this week. Tell us more. Yeah, you know, only some minor rain chances on Thursday and Friday. That is everyone except for the mountains who actually have a rain chance today. I'm taking a look right now at App State, and I've kind of been staring at this camera pretty intently for the past few minutes because in some spots of Boone, we are reporting some light snow showers. But if you look at radar, it looks a lot worse than it is. Here's that zoomed out view. As we take a closer look, we see that a lot of that gray is actually just our base layer map, but that's what we call that, that gray that's just drier air but there are a few light snow showers being reported and towards Sparta a few light rain showers I'm thinking a lot of this isn't actually making it to the ground because we have drier air there but if you see a few sprinkles or a few flakes you definitely might see that in the mountains today that's just for the mountains though everyone else looks like they will stay dry we also stay slightly breezy winds gusting up to 20 miles an hour in the triad and Piedmont 25 miles an hour in the mountains. Temperatures stay pretty mild over the next few days. Today we're in the mid 50s in the triad. As we go through the next few days, we'll hover around that upper 40s, low 50s uh, range of temperatures. Very few rain chances this week though. Here's a look at our temperatures. You can kind of see that blue green divide. That green is pretty mild, 50 degrees in Winston-Salem, 54 in North Wilkesboro, even Martinsville up there at 51. Galax still at 42 degrees today. Here's a look at our forecast. By 3 p.m. we'll hit our high of 54. We'll have a mixture of clouds and sun today. So if you get some blue sky, enjoy it while it lasts because it might be followed by some overcast skies shortly after. Into the evening, kind of the same story there. The foothills looking pretty similar. A high of 52 today at 3 p.m. cooling down after that point until we get all the way into the 30s by midnight throughout the area. The foothills, we have those light shower chances through the afternoon. Most of that wind will be rain, although there could be a few flakes mixing in. And then we have another rain chance throughout the evening, or another shower chance, I should say, that actually is more likely to be a few flurries rather than a few raindrops. But overall, not that substantial. Here's a look at our hour-by-hour -hour forecast. We'll go through the day today, see those clouds rolling in from time to time. Right now, we're looking at 1.45 a.m. on Wednesday, where I am seeing those light showers being possible in the mountains, but they'll be drying up pretty quickly after that. So it doesn't look like it'll have a big impact impact on your morning and thankfully our overnight temperatures in most spots will be above freezing. The mountains get down to 28 degrees with that 20% shower chance but the triad in the foothills stay in the mid 30s so overall not concerned about slick spots for most areas tomorrow morning except for of course the mountains. Here's a look at that Piedmont triad forecast. We have another temperature below freezing on Thursday morning but then Friday actually very mild starting off in the mid 30s before some cold mornings for your weekend. Jacqueline, thank you.